I'm back. You don't know how much that saying these lines really takes it out of you after a while. It really does. It's just your own voice. You're just like, blah, blah, blah. But it really takes it out of you. What should we do? I think we should get naked even though we have redressed and take a hot shower. I think that would make a lovely thing to do. Woohoo! Yes, it would. Woohoo! Warm water soothes your aching muscles, but it doesn't stop your racing thoughts. Shaking off the fears of death isn't easy. I think the brattening brain cancer would steer you against this sort of thing. Nah. <laughs> it's frightening to think what riding a train could. You close your eyes and concentrate on the sound of running water. I can handle this. Come on, Vera, pull it together, girl. Let's go. All I need is my girlfriend, you know? Woo. Go, girlfriend. Yeah. Woo. Go, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You're still quite disturbed about today's events, but you definitely feel a little better. <sighs> Watch TV. And a good distraction. What better than television where we've got pessimistic news on? Ooh, that's a really good distraction. That is so going to make my mood better. You turn on the TV. Despite the hotel's meager renovation from their satellite television is up and running. Oh, watch a movie. Channel surfing reveals that you are fam familiar with tonight's cinema offerings. Watching something you've seen before doesn't appeal to you. Blah. Use your notebook. I thought they meant notebook as in paper notebook. But it's a fucking Apple Mac. Bitch has sold out on me because I use like PCs. PC versus Mac. PC versus Mac. PC versus Mac. PC versus Mac. You check your email. Surf the web. And play a few online games. God, she's a girl gamer. Jesus, in that attire. Watch fucking TV. Watch fucking TV. Watch documentaries. Oh, I love documentaries. <laughs> Let's see what this is about. What? Where was fact or fiction? This has got to be a joke. You watch for a few minutes. There's nothing groundbreaking about the documentary. It's all common knowledge. They can be killed by silver bullets. So you transform during full moon. And wait. Gulp. I had my shaggy Scooby gulp then. There's a full moon tonight. Great. Falling asleep's gonna be a hinge. Fucking use your notebook. Check your yeah. Take a fucking hot shower again. You just had one. I know. Watch fucking TV. Watch fucking TV. That's the fucking local news. As expected, local news reporters discuss the train accident in depth. Apparently, the bomb would have destroyed only your coach. It appears that the attackers intended to minimise casualties. So it wasn't a coincidence. They really wanted to kill you and Brandon. Ooh, yes, Eva did. Blah, 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 blah. But Vera won't know that it's Eva. Blah, 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 blah. Till later on. New clue added under location section train. Oh my god. Someone really tried to kill us. Shit. That makes me want to go to the toilet and have a nice big poo poo. Should I go tell Brandon now? Go to Brenda's room! Shag the hell out of him. Have <laughs> uh, like sc scaredy cat sex. Yeah. You decide it's better to tell Brandon about your discoveries. Look, look, look. Brandon. It's me, Vera. Open the door. Ah! I'm coming, I'm coming. You can hear Brandon grumbling as he unlocks the door. Yeah, you got something to say. The, the train, the targets, we were the targets. Whoa, hold your horses, one word at a time. Target, they, the bomb in the train. Brandon lets you loose a yawn. Are you 
you sure? The police... Check for yourself. The latest news says the bomb only could have destroyed the coach we were in. Ugh, that's strange. Alright. Right, we... Right, we... Uh, uh, Brendan yawns again. I need to investigate. I'll have to wait until tomorrow. I'm too tired for this right now. Sure. See you tomorrow. Ah, let's just leave there. Woo! <laughs> I'm really finerate it, aren't I? Um, actually... I know this probably sounds somewhat inappropriate, but I think I'll take advantage of your proposition. Uh, you want to sleep here? Yeah, if that's alright with you. <laughs> it's more than alright with me. Who wouldn't like having a dame like you in the room all gussied up like that? <laughs> Horsing around like always. What? I don't make a good hardboiled detective. Let's just say you lack a certain oomph. Anyway, thanks for your generosity. I'll just make myself comfortable on this four star floor. Pleasant dreams, Brandon. Pleasant. Good night to you, too. You should have trouble falling asleep. Too many thoughts are crowding your mind right now. You feel guilty for taking the bed. Poor Brandon is sleeping on the ground like a gentleman. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yes. Uh. <laughs> hey, Brandon. There's plenty of room up here on the bed. You can sleep here, too. What? what? No, no, it's fine. That's what it what are you afraid of? It's not like I'm a vampire. I don't even invite you to share the bed with me, that's all. I know what else. Seriously, it's fine. Insist. Please. I don't want to hear your complaints tomorrow. You sure? Bed is plenty large for what it's worth, I think. Well, in Chiver's type in the hard boiled, I'm sure you'll be an upstanding gentleman, right? Absolutely, cross my heart, even. Good, come then. Brandon advances cautiously as if afraid to come into contact with you. If not for the creaking bread strings, you'd think he were the better soul occupant. <laughs> he looks extremely embarrassed. <laughs> Let's read his mind, yes. I can't believe that! I... I can't believe I'm sharing the bed with Vera. She's so beautiful and the shampoo she's using the scent's the same as... You feeling alright, Brenda? Yes. You need more space. I can. Whoa, no, it's not necessary. I'm just feeling fine over here in my corner, thanks. You smile. He seems so different tonight. Shy, even. Is this really the same detective you met earlier? He's sweeter than you expected. You've heard words from many less embarrassing situations than this one. What was that? Brandon, wake up! Ugh, it's just noise. Brandon scurries away from the bed and grabs his gun, loading it with pre- It's just ease. Wait, where are you going? The noise came from your room. I'm gonna fucking follow him. <laughs> I'm coming too. There's no time for jokes. Stay here! Don't put yourself at risk! I don't want to stay here by myself. You both enter your hotel room, only to encounter 
The werewolf. It's a good thing you chose to sleep elsewhere for the night. Bearer, take cover. Abandoned by bullet after bullet from rapid succession, the police reigns unperturbed. Damn it! Is it immune to my bullets? Something disturbs the beast, provoking it to crash through the window in a desperate attempt to escape. Where did it go? Hurry, it's getting away! You rush outside, the chill nipping at your bare skin and boobs. <laughs> Not for the adrenaline running through your body. Would have a hard time of coming it. New clue added under general section, werewolf. Sam on the window. You approach the window. There are traces of blood and fur on the jagged glass. As well as all glass windows, they don't crumble into pieces. Small pieces when hit. Yes, they're really dangerous. It's easy to cut yourself on them. Yeah, this hotel's not exactly child friendly. Looks like the werewolf got injured. There's some blood over there. New clue added. Under object section, broken window. Some of the interior. Hmm. I suppose a man could have jumped down from here. <laughs> a man? That wasn't that thing was a human. It's pretty dark. Her eyes might be playing tricks on us. We can't dismiss the possibility of disguise. Uh right, sorry. Uh I guess I shouldn't jump to conclusions like that. Still pretty bizarre though. Could have sworn. Oh. Nuclear added under object section, broken window. Look for traces on the ground. The beast left behind some tracks. Its footprints disappear into the forest nearby. Looks like the beast ran in that direction. You have no intention of running after it, I hope. <laughs> Don't sweat, I'm not brave enough to chase after a werewolf. Must last in the dark during a full moon. Flash of light interrupts your ruminating. You recognize the approaching vehicle as a police car. What's going on here? Detect name's Detective Mackey, and you are Lucas Werner, BKA. I oversee investigations out in these parts. Welcome to our humble town. I see the werewolf has already greeted you. Yeah, real generous, that fellow. Lucas offers you a puzzled look. My name's Vera Blank. I see. What are you doing out here in your undergarments? <laughs> <laughs> She's a slut. <laughs> uh, that's no big deal, officer. You won't need to arrest her for public indecency. She's my assistant. We were woken by the werewolf and... Uh, you were sleeping together? Why, why are you asking this? Oh, what you do is not my concern. I, I'm only trying to reconstruct this crime scene. Forensics will now examine this screen and... Oh wait, I need to retrieve my belongings. What? My clothes, why even bother asking? It's not essential to your investigation. But I guess they are vital to you. <laughs> Brandon chuckles at his self-perceived wit. Alright, go get your stuff. It's better to stay somewhere in the police station from now on. It's for your own safety. No, 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 no. I'm gonna read this best as mine. Because I can, because I'm Vera Blanky. Blanky Wanky. Ouch. Ooh. Let's try H, baby. Let's try an I, baby. Nope. Oh, it doesn't fucking matter. <sighs> This Lucas doesn't seem like a great detective. He's wrong right off the bat. The team starts examining the scene. Brandon and Lucas are still engaged in discussion. Ah. 
Yes. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.